Hi, so as you know we are discussing about Pascal's triangle and in this video we are actually going to find the sequence of triangular numbers and square numbers in Pascal's triangle. So first we are going to talk about the triangular numbers. Yes, triangular numbers can be directly found in Pascal's triangle. Triangular number and square numbers can be actually found in the diagonals starting from second row. So if we talk about the row numbers, yes, we start from row number 0 in Pascal's triangle, then we have row number 1 and then we have row number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Right? These are the row numbers. So if we talk about two diagonals which are starting from the row number 2, they will be this diagonal and this diagonal. Right? These are the two diagonals which are actually starting from the row number 2 and this 2 which is the middle term of row number 2 actually belongs to the diagonal starting from row number 1. Right? This was in the diagonal where we found a series of natural numbers. So if we talk about the diagonal starting from row number 2, these are the two diagonals which are starting from row number 2. Right? So first we are going to find triangular numbers in these diagonals. Yes, both of them are same diagonal only. First element of this diagonal is 1, 1, 3, 3, 6, 10, 10, 15, 15, 21, 21. So these two diagonals are exactly same. Let me find the triangular numbers in this pyramid or in this Pascal's triangle. So what are the triangular numbers? Triangular numbers as we have discussed in our earlier videos, first triangular number was 1 and second triangular number was 3. Third triangular number was 3 plus 3 that is 6. And then we had 6 plus 4 which is 10. And this was our fourth triangular number. Right? Then we had 15. And then we have 15 plus 6, 21. And 21 plus 7, 28 was the next triangular number and this series continued. So if I talk about this diagonal, this one, what is this? Yes, this is exactly the same series, right? This is 1 which is the first triangular number, then we had 3 which is the second triangular number, then we have 6 which is the third triangular number, then we have 10 which is the fourth triangular number, 15 the fifth triangular number, 21 which is the sixth triangular number and the term which will come over here will be the sum of 21 and 7 which will be 28 right this will be the next term over here and this is nothing but the seventh triangular number right so the diagonal starting from the second row actually is a series of triangular numbers right and now what we want to find we want to find series of square numbers in the Pascal's triangle and how do we find? Yes, I'll take this diagonal this time. What we have discussed in the introduction of Pascal's triangle, this we call as Pascal's triangle and all the numbers outside this triangle are considered as zero, right? A number if I consider over here will be zero, a number if I consider over here will also be zero Similarly, this number over here will also be 0, right? All these numbers will be 0. This we have discussed in the introduction of Pascal's triangle, right? And now we are going to find the square numbers in the Pascal's triangle, right? So see very, very carefully because square numbers are found in slightly tricky way. So to find the square numbers, we are again going to take the diagonals starting from the row number 2. So this and this were the diagonal starting from row number 2, right? So if I add the first number of the diagonal and the 0 which is outside the Pascal's triangle, what we get? Yes, we get 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 is the first element of any polygonal number. So in the case of square numbers also, 1 is the first element. And anyway, let's write the series of square numbers. So what are the square numbers? 1 and the second element was 4. Third element was 3, 3 is a 9. Then we had 16. Then we had 25. 
then we had 36, then we had 49 and so on. Right? This is 1 square, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 threes are 9, 4 fours are 16, 5 fives are 25, 6 six are 36 and 7 sevens are 49. This is the series of square numbers. Right? This was the series of triangular numbers. And if you have any doubt about the polygonal numbers, you can find the videos on my channel where I am explaining about polygonal numbers. Right? So we have got our first square number by adding the first element of the diagonal starting from row number 2 and 1 0 outside. Right? And how do we find the second element? To find the second element, I am going to add these two numbers 1 and 3. I get 1 plus 3 is 4 which is nothing but the second square number. Right? And if I add 3 and 6, 3 plus 6 is 9 which is the third square number. Right? And if I add this 6 and 10, I am getting 6 plus 10 is 16 which is the fourth square number. And if I add 10 plus 15, 10 plus 15 is, yes, 25, which is the fifth square number, right? And what is 15 plus 21? 15 plus 21 is 36, which is nothing but a sixth square number, right? And what will come over here? When we were finding the triangular numbers, we found the term over here as 21 plus 7, that is 28. And what is 21 plus 28? This is nothing but 49, which is the seventh square number, right? So this is how we find the square numbers in the Pascal's triangle, right? So what we have done? We have found the triangular numbers and the square numbers in the Pascal's triangle. Triangular numbers can be directly found in the diagonal starting from the second row. And square numbers are also found in the diagonal starting from the second row. But how are we finding? Yes, we are adding two to numbers of diagonal every time. So in first case, I have added the first element of that diagonal to the zero, which is residing outside. And to find the second term, I have added the first element of the diagonal with the second element of the diagonal, right? And to find the third element, I have added the second element of the diagonal with the third element of the diagonal, right? To find the fourth element, I have added the third element with the fourth element of the diagonal, right? So by adding in this fashion, we are finding the square numbers. We are finding the sequence of square numbers, right? And in next video, we are going to discuss a property of Pascal's triangle, which is the hockey stick effect in the Pascal's triangle, right? So, bye-bye till then.